Hey guys, so I thought I'd do something a little different for this vlog and just chat with you while showing you some scenes from my life from this week. Okay, so after my Spanish class, I met Jesse and Harper at this little tortas shop um, that also sells coffee and I got the best sandwich. It had arrachera steak and a ton of cheese and it was so delicious. Here I am being absolutely hysterical with joy at how good this sandwich is. The steak was so tender, you guys. I was really surprised by how amazing it was. Jesse wants to go back just so he can get that sandwich for himself. Hey guys, um, Jesse and I are sitting on the couch. Well, Jesse's in the, in the kitchen right now, but we're going to sit on the couch and watch Coco. And I asked him to get me a candy bar because it had a real like chocolate craving. So we went and got And yes, it's true, we do eat a lot more candy here in Mexico than we did in the States. Hopefully that will taper off after we, you know, make our way through all of the candy that we've never tried before. But it might take us a while to get there. Anyway, this is a little collection of shops in Centro that I've walked past a dozen times but never gone into. And this day, Harper encouraged us to go into, I think because she saw the mojigangas. Is that how you pronounce that, guys? Mojigangas? Anyway, there were just a bunch of little vendors and shops selling all kinds of beautiful, wonderful things. Frida! Thumbs up if you love Frida as much as I do. You can pretty much find anything beautiful in these shops. I didn't check prices, it's probably pricey due to how pretty everything was. But if you want some jewelry or a souvenir or some skincare, it seems like a nice place. Everything in there was so beautiful. Guys, I really want to have one of everything in these stores. So if you've visited Mexico, let me know what was the best souvenir you brought home with you and where did you get it? I just love the aesthetic. I love Mexican art, Mexican folk art. Oh, skeletons, more skeletons, skeletons every day, skeletons everywhere. Harper is a big fan. I love it too. We are getting really excited for Dia de Muertos. Oh, and of course you know that the Land of the Dead in Coco was styled after Guanajuato City, so yay! Yeah, my kid has a leash. Yep, okay, because whatever you judge other parents for doing when you are not a parent will come back and bite you including leashes. And here I am in a taxi going to Marfil because I need a haircut. I need a haircut so desperately. It's been forever since I got a haircut. And I asked a friend where the best place to go in Guanajuato was, and she said, Pasión Estetica y Spa in Marfil. And so that is where I went. Turns out my friend Lori also gets her hair cut there, so we made a date to get haircuts and go out to dinner, which was just fabulous. We did have a little bit of a misunderstanding, and so I ended up getting some kind of treatment of my hair and face that I don't, well, here, just look. Ah, yes, it's terrifying, I know. This, it's just quite interesting. Uh, I look like my head is ready for the alien invasion with this little foil thing here, and maybe my face is ready for surgery. I don't know. At some point, another lady came and switched out my mask and put things on my eyes, so then I could not see. Uh, yeah, I'm just here. I'm trying to be as relaxed as I can be. <laughs> and here I am getting my hair cut. Uh, hi guys, what's up? I got so much hair cut off, it felt so much lighter already. I loved this place, you guys. The lady who cut my hair was top notch. I really love the haircut that she gave me. 
And the fact that I walked out of there with exactly what I wanted, even though I cannot fully describe what I want in Spanish, uh, just showed her some pictures and she nailed it. So after our haircuts and my fancy hair and face treatment, we went to Centro to go to dinner. And we had such a wonderful time walking around. The city is really magical after dark. The city is magical all the time. You guys know how in love I am with Guanajuato and how beautiful it is. But after dark, it just has this extra little something. And I was super happy because I never get to do this. I have not done something like this probably since Harper was born. Um, I have a three-year-old. Around about 7.30 at night, I'm just exhausted and ready to pass out. Uh, gone are the days of, well, you know, having energy or an interesting life. <laughs> Anybody relate to that? So anyway, a girl's night out was just what I needed. And Lori and I were chatting about Guanajuato and American tourists. So I thought I'd leave some of the audio in and just let you listen in and eavesdrop with us. Yes, look at this. I've never been to like this part of town at night. Never, it's very fun. I love it. I don't get why this place isn't bigger with American tourists. Like, why? nobody knows about this place. Why is that? It's not the beach, I don't know. Yeah, I guess so. Americans are afraid. <laughs> afraid of Mexico, yes. Yeah, and th that's so true because when we do, I and mean, when I say we like Americans, when we do go to Mexico, we go to the all-inclusives and we don't go anywhere else and yeah. It's such a shame. Like I literally had never heard of Guanajuato until we started researching for this move. Like that's crazy. How do you not? And I don't feel like I was particularly, you know, one of those Americans like couldn't point to Brazil on a map or something. It's just no. The restaurant we went to is called Los Campos and it's tucked into this little alley and when you go in you feel like you're discovering this secret hideaway. All the light inside is so warm and inviting and the place is small and intimate and it was just so cool to be there. Definitely not a place you take your three-year-old. So Lori and I were super excited to be there. Okay, drink menu and regular menu. For drinks, Lori got the Margarita Rocio, which in addition to tequila has licor de chile poblano, licor de naranja, which is orange liquor, and jalapeno. And the waiter warned her it'd be spicy and she was just like, yeah, bring it. I love Lori, she's so cool. Dinner, guys, the food was so good. I know you can't see it because everything was super dark. However, I got the chuleta de cerdo al pastor, which is this giant caveman style pork chop <laughs> with the bone and everything on top of grilled pineapple and onions and came with tortillas and Oh, it was so good. By far the best pork chop I've had in my entire life. We had dessert. We had a cajeta tart with lavender ice cream and felt so fancy. It was just such a lovely time. It was just so good to have a girl's night. So good to chat with Lori and have this delicious food and feel so fancy. Um, even though I was seriously underdressed. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you are well. I love you all so much. Thank you for all your lovely comments. Um, let me know how you're doing and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell if you wanna get notified when the next video is out. All right guys, I'll see you later, bye.